setting themselves up for a potential dive, but Yellow Stars had decent vision. Who needs decided to stick around? This is going to not work out for him. There's four members of the Jamaicas. Who has been caught? The shield comes out. Damage onto Nisbet. One more talent shot. He's going to go down. Who makes it work? He is still alive. They've managed to trade two for one. Mr. Rolls forced a flash. And that just went horribly wrong for Meet Your Makers. Look at Horo on the bottom lane. This is round two. The tower is up and alive. Knockup doesn't connect. Nisbet tanks one more hit before backing away. Huni manages to survive, right, no as does Nisbet. Nisbet's still alive. The spell shield is there. Huni goes in. Flamespitter gets him one. That is a Huni pot if ever I've seen one. Horo manages to connect. There's minions there to keep him alive. But that was once again another kill given over to Huni. For them. Oh, they may set their sights on Quarry. Equalizer's available. Let's see what he does. Slow comes out. Dragon secured. Teleport, Teleport from instantly from Mima. We see the accelerated shock blast coming out, and Quarry's in trouble. Mima flashes forward. Frozen Tomb locks him down. Stun from Flippivan does not connect. Huni still in full retreat as the Equalizer forces MYM to back away. Huni goes 4-0. Oh. <laughs> he just doesn't want to die. He wave out. You can see the vision. Fnatic got some deep wards down by the top and bottom half of the map. This will be an uncontested dragon. It is number two. The snowball games. But then we saw them against Rocket here, where Rocket actually did a very good job defending, got some late game, and it was a lot harder for Fnatic to finish it. Finish it. But this time around, I mean, look at the vision on the map here. Pink wards, green wards, everything. It is a free Baron. Nothing MYM can do to stop it. They should actually go dragon now and try to... Uh, it's risky, but they could have tried to stay at the dragon, kill it as soon as it spawns, and then recall. But then again, you would actually lose your tower here. Yeah. Oh, Mima gets silenced. This Fnatic yeah. take him out. But it does end up resulting. All right, and they will actually get the dragon anyway from MYM. But this is good. Get that 6%. And make sure Fnatic is not going to play around that fifth dragon. So I like this play here by MYM. They're making some, but they're trying to make some plays to get back in the game. All of that early pressure and limited resources, only a Morella Nomicon for his name. So this is going to allow Fnatic to use all of that damage to their favor. Tower secured. On the hunt comes down from Mr. Ross. Decent damage on Fnatic. They are going to get one. Huni is now out. Very good engage with the Frozen Tomb from Mima. And Corey's got a double. It's replied with Steelback. Boomerang goes out a two for one. Meet your makers get the kills, but they may not be able to defend this objective. They've used all of their abilities. Corey, can he get some poke down? He does. Mercury Hammer, does he want to throw it down? The answer is no. Fnatic lose the fight, get the objectives. They'll be happy with that. Deep vision, so flanking opportunities are lower. And for Fnatic, no Xerath ultimate. Rumble still got his, if a fight were to break out, but he would need to teleport. Who needs pushing the top lane? Also have to worry about the Nexus here. Super Minions already pushing onto it, trying to take down a tower while Fnatic might be caught out. So Rainover's only the first one. Focus down from Meet Your Makers. The Nexus is being hammered on in the back line. Horo will get dropped as Fnatic continue to put the damage down. Teleports from both top laners. Never charges up that Arcano Pulse. The minions have been pushed back for the time being. Fnatic trade junglers, but get an inner turret. They managed to come out ahead two for one. They did trade one for one. Horo's been caught out. Yellow Star's gonna knock him up. The flag, the drag. Nisbet jumps in. Rainover lands the baller. Horo is down. Double kill for Rainover as he just flies through the air. Mima, glacial path away to safety. Up onto Twitter. This could be an LCS big play waiting to happen. Thrill of the Hunt is out. There goes Rengar. He's jumped on Mima. Mima forced a frozen tomb. Equalizer comes out and Mima is down. We do see the baller strike go out, but Corey. Manages to get away thanks to the movement speed. And Fnatic find themselves a kill using the Scuttle Crab and setting themselves up for more. <laughs> Fnatic, they just keep baiting this one. They don't want to start the Baron, hoping for more kills before, and now they will be able to get it. Leading into that gank, Febivin had the license to kill. Zero kills, zero deaths, seven assists. Now he's on the board. At 107, Fnatic realize no one's coming to contest. And your lucidity boost, so you get that the same amount of cooldown reduction, or you get a lot of cooldown reduction, and then you actually get Hourglass before you complete a Morello Nomicon. And if you have, again, an Abyssal Scepter, which is going to be in this game again, picked up a lot of assists, but he's been there with his ultis. Every time Reyno would lock down a target, Pippen was there to assist him. And now pushing on to this turret here, mid inhibitor, it's already gone. 
Fnatic take it very low. Equalizer's available. TP Mimas behind coming now. In from be the behind. Gauge. Xenoblade does not connect. Solar Flare catches Rain over. Mimas looking for a target. Forced to self-cast to stay alive. Fast Bomb from Steelback is going to take Mima down as the reply is on to Yellowstar. Now Nisbet forced on the retreat. Steelback is carrying for the team from the back line. Fnatic have got three despite losing two. And with the empowered minions, they're gonna get a second inhibitor. They have super minions on the Nexus as well here. Rallis is trying to defend it. Fnatic, gonna win the game yet. Well, let's see what Corey can do. He's flashed for this one. He's gonna get the shock blast out. Swatch to Mercury Hammer if he wants to, decides against it. Right, instead of saying, okay, abort, we can still back out here before anything happens. And that's really what set them behind. Rainover. <laughs> Rainover jumps the tower. onto the tower. Die. Gets the damage out. Equalizer is out on the back line. Everybody going low. Uh, we see the hourglass pop from Hooney. Rainover is dropped. Nietzsche Makers holding on. Super Minions pushing in. That little engage not working out in favor of Fnatic. However, Febivin's going to even it up. One for one. Top laner down from Meteor Makers. Despite that heavy engage. And a small glimmer of hope from Meet Your Makers, but it's just too little. We do see Mr. Rolls putting damage down. They've caught Febivin. He's forced to Hourglass. Steelback untouched with so much damage. There's Super Minions on the Nexus Toad. Steelback is going to Valkyrie away. Now the Interpretator is being focused down. Corey gets hit. Fast Bomb chunks him out. Huni teleports. The Triple fight's kill. been so long that he's come back from the pit. And we do see him here, but are taking out Super Minions on the Nexus Turret. That's going to be the win for Fnatic. Once again, a very, very dominant performance here from Fnatic. Taking another win. SK Gaming is not secured number one yet. 7 0 4 from Steelback. Hooney 5 3 and 8. And Fnatic never looked challenged.